What's he still doing at ringside? The referee distracted as Curtis nails another drop kick. Now he's got him back up. I'm sorry there. I had a little bit of um, difficulties, and I'm back. Oh, I've been there. Don't worry. I had uh, you covered, though. I know you did, and I appreciate that. I seen you and Phoenix both had me covered. I haven't really heard from Phoenix much. you know in there talking a little bit because like I, like she was just saying you know she doesn't know what Curtis was thinking but whatever he's thinking it is going to be painful now the cover one mm. uh, apparently uh, just a one count wow nope it's a three count So we have a winner here. The riot maker Curtis Azali victorious. Wow. All right, now, Dawn, uh, we do want you to go ahead and get out of the ring. Wow, amazing acrobatics from the referee there. Yeah, I know, hon. Just go on to the back. Because uh, we do want to uh, make certain that we do have a uh, different ref. And because uh, I know the main event is going to be kind of um, a tough one. And uh, well, we have Jacob going to I give her a break. And I mean, I may not have a striped shirt, but I do have a striped tail if that counts. <laughs> Yeah, Jacob's entering the ring right now. <laughs> well, he may not be that sexy, but he may be sexy to some other. <laughs> yeah. I see a little... I think I see enough sexiness to my left. <laughs> no <offense. laughs> mm. Now, poor Jacob, uh, he's coming back from a little, um, little bit of a leave. So, uh, yeah. Okay, then, then it's agreed. Right, from now on, from next week I won't be here, as you know, I will... Well, yes, it's got to stop, but next week I will be on vacation, as you already know. So, I'm going to leave this down to you, and I will see you next, in two weeks' time. Yeah, see you in two weeks. Oh man, uh -huh. what's up buddy? I'm thinking of putting our differences aside and making ourselves into an alliance against this dog pound thing stable going on, what do you say? Whoa, 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 whoa. You want me to put my differences aside after all the crap you've done to me? I mean, yeah, okay, so I attacked you before your match last week. You know, you hit me in the head once, fair enough, but then you had to go and do it a second time. That was ridiculous, man. And especially after all the shit you've done to me in the past. 
You really think I'm gonna put my differences aside just cause you got your sorry ass whooped? You earned it, buddy. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop you there, right now. Um... You, first of all, you invited me to ringside. You attacked my match. Which I was about to win. I don't know if you know where I had him in, I had him in, uh, in my, uh... Doomsday device, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you and your fucking attack. You think I'm not gonna just stand there and let that happen? Okay, well, you, you know, I, I understand, okay. You hit me once, that's fine. I understand that that was, you know, a little payback. Whoop, you flip and do, it happens. But then you had to hit me a second time, and it's just. No way in hell I'm gonna put my differences aside for you, okay, man? Honest to God, you're on your own, jackass. Good luck. Fine. Do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, get my taxi ready, wherever. Don't care. <sighs> huh. Looks like Sean was, um, taking care of a little bit of business, um, uh, I see. Well, looks like Sean was uh, trying to get, uh, he talked with uh, Dave Mack about uh, helping him with the uh, dog pound. So it looks like Dave Gothley wanted nothing of it. Mm, well, it's, it's not that he didn't want anything of it, it's just that he didn't want to have anything to do with Dave Mack. Yeah, there well, is quite a story rivalry between those two. I know there is. So, their differences was a little stronger than what I thought. Yeah, maybe it'll just take some, a different form of persuasion. Hmm. Well, now we've got our main event coming up, and uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, very interesting. This is the initiation into the family, and uh, we get to uh, see what's happening here. Well, making his way to the ring, being accompanied to the ring by his fiance, Rosalind Grace Rage, this is Dragon Baldassar McGinnis. Yeah, and he's followed into the ring by my daughter, Rosa. I know last week at the end of Radioactive, we saw a romantic moment between Dragon and Rosa here. Yeah, and that's what uh, started this little bit of a feud. Rosa, get back over here. Oh, well, if she wants to be close to her fiancé, I'd let her.
Now, I'm sorry, I am not going to be not impartial. And uh, so I'm very proud of um, those that are coming down now. And here we see accompanied to the ring by Stacy Grace Rage. This is Demon Rage. Demon Rage. <laughs> 